Hey everyone, Morgan here. Welcome back to the lab. We're going to take a look at the pH scale today. Not a mathematical treatment of it, just what we're going to call a qualitative treatment. And what we're doing today, you can actually reproduce this at home, and I encourage you to do it, but make sure you practice safe science. Always use protection, okay? So I got myself some goggles here, and I have something that you can get at the grocery store. Okay, some people call it red cabbage. I call it purple cabbage. Okay, either way. I've got a blender here. So what I'm going to do is rip off a few leaves here. Some people like to do it by putting them into boiling water. That can work also, but a little safer just to use the blender. Okay, don't want to risk you getting hurt at home. All right, so take some of these leaves and one more just for good measure. Shove that all in there. Clear this out of the way. Now, I'm using mason jars because I happen to have them. <laughs> I'm gonna pour a bunch of water. This is just tap water, nothing special about it. Pour that water in there, cover the blender. Never turn on a blender without the lid, that's not cool. And boom. Okay, vegetable smoothie. Over in Santa Monica, I can get $10 a glass for this, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is pull this out, get rid of this for the moment, don't need it anymore, and I'm gonna filter this. So, this, just a kitchen strainer, Okay, I'm gonna pour that nice purple juice back into this mason jar now. Collect a bunch of it. Not interested in the leaves. Okay, shake that off. Clean this up. If you're doing this at home, you don't wanna get mom angry that you're working in a messy kitchen. So what I have done now is I have extracted some of the juice from this red cabbage. And this juice is actually a very good full range acid base indicator. So I've got a bunch of mason jars here and I'm just gonna put some of the juice into every jar. It is probably a little bit acidic Tap water tends to run a little acidic in East LA. But close enough to neutral that I'm not concerned, okay? Now I'm gonna test a bunch of household products to develop a relative pH scale. To set my standards, I have one molar sodium hydroxide, which is base, and one molar HCl, which is acid. So first, let's add a little bit of acid to this full range indicator. All right. It's gonna be pinkish in acidic solutions, okay? This is the base. Take some of that, boom. Okay, it's gonna be greenish bluish to greenish in basic solutions. So what this has enabled me to do is put reference points on my pH scale. Now, let's go for some common household chemicals. Got some lime juice, which is something, lemon juice, lime juice, that I think you're likely to have at home, okay? Open this bottle up, it's a nice brand new bottle you see there. Ah, uh, that smell. How's that smell of vision working today? Can you smell the lime juice? Give it a good squirt. Okay. I think we can say pretty obviously that lime juice is acidic. But when you're looking at recipes in cookbooks and they talk about add some acid, they don't mean hydrochloric. <laughs> they mean use something like lime juice, lemon juice, or maybe vinegar. And I've got some vinegar here. Just some typical white vinegar from the kitchen. I'm not using the cider vinegar because it's colored. 
and I wanted the clear stuff so that you would see the effect a little bit better. Okay, that's acidic also. Now, I think this is perhaps even a little more acidic than the lime juice, okay, but they're both definitely pretty acidic there. Now, let's go in another direction. Baking soda. Now, most people do know that baking soda is alkaline or basic, okay? Some people even use it as a medicine to treat an upset stomach. I don't recommend that. So I'm just gonna dump a bunch of it in there and mix it on up. Now, that is just ever so slightly basic. Just a little bit above a pH of seven. These are all below a pH of seven. And this one molar NaOH, okay, that's up there at 14, okay? Now, ammonia. We talked about ammonia in our last demo. It is also basic. I'm gonna take some of that, dump it into this beaker. I can give it a little stir. Now that is more basic than the baking soda, okay? That's coming over in this direction, all right? A higher pH. Now, I want you to do some thinking for a second. Notice, both of these are actually foods, and both of these can be considered cleaning products. In general, okay, cleaning products tend to be basic. Foods, not always, but a lot of the ones that you're familiar with are. That's another good example. I got some lemon lime soda here. Now, nope, not 7-Up because that stuff's expensive. This is the uh, Vons brand cheap stuff. 79 cents for a two liter bottle. And Morgan is notoriously cheap. So let's dump this in here. Okay, we are seeing something that's acidic again, aren't we? Okay. Foods that are acidic, cleaning products that are basic, okay? I've got another cleaning product here you might be familiar with. This is Tide, this is laundry detergent, okay? Now, I am going to try and figure out how to open this box. Should have tested that out before we did the video. <laughs> okay. It's nice though that you see we actually haven't altered any of these things before we used them. Now, I need some of this. I'm not gonna be particular about how much. I'm just gonna pour some in like that. It'll probably suds up nicely. Okay. Now, it's basic, but it's not as basic as the NaOH or the ammonia. So this one's probably gonna fit in right about here, okay? Now, two to make you think. This is called Lime Away. Now, this is a cleaning product that's designed to clean up the residue of other cleaning products, which are basic. So what are we gonna have in this cleaning product? Something that is acidic, okay? So yeah, it's a cleaning product, but it's designed to clean up soap scum. So that's gonna put it over here in the pretty acidic category, okay? It actually contains hydrochloric acid. Now, this one, to really get you thinking, this is bleach, okay? Now, why do we use bleach? <laughs> My mom used to use bleach all the time on socks because it's designed to whiten. It gets rid of color. So when I put a good dose of bleach into here, what happens to the color? It disappears. So it's not actually any good at telling me whether it's acidic or basic. It's actually pretty basic because it's designed to get rid of color. Okay, folks, that's the pH scale. Thanks for tuning in today. This is Morgan signing off.